Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and uh, this is uh, another live stream for building data science with JavaScript. Um, we've already built processing and input microservices, at least you know the first processing one. Uh, and the first input, maybe we'll use some other inputs later on. We'll see how that works out. So uh, now that we finally have that, let me just go ahead and open uh, VS Code over here. Maybe size of that stuff, um, be it better. Well, there we go. Okay, so uh, we do need this storage microservice that will uh, be essentially a data sync here, right? So this is what we're gonna do today. Mm, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new storage service folder. Uh, we're gonna CD into it. Um, and we're gonna do npm by, why the hell not? And we have npm update, um, or why not? Just I know how that works from time to time. Let's just say latest. Okay, um, we don't really need that anymore. So we can just uh, install npm code open code uh, directly within this folder. And uh, yeah, maybe while installing, I could post this on Twitter that I am actually live. There we go. Okay. Uh, what? Npm. What the hell? I am on the wrong network, or is it npm bugging? Um, now the stream else seems to be fine, right? So definitely not the problem. Okay, screw that. I don't really use npm much anyway. We're gonna go with it as is. We're gonna use yarn for most of things anyway. Um, okay, I don't want those panels. I probably have to look up away them completely. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.1. Um, so this is going to be a data storage and management microservice, right? And uh, MIT, I don't remember if I changed licenses in previous versions, but whatever, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> right, so um, I have index.js here. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, code as well. So we can take the input service and uh, actually reuse some bits of it. So we can uh, do that. Because we are again, we, we're going to have the service that you know, runs over time. So that's always a good thing. Now, uh, we also like in this case, we're not going to use the micro core because it's not a processing microservice and doesn't really need to send anything. So it will only work as a receiving service. In this case, we're gonna say yarn on micro work, right? So this is the only thing we need. Uh, we're gonna do testing later on, so that doesn't matter. I guess let's add yarn on Winston uh, so that we have some logging. Copy the logger over here, so logger, yes. Um, uh, this is gonna be storage service, come on. There you go, okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, right, so we're gonna post that and now index. So we have a um, start function that essentially creates a runner, a uh, micro work. Yeah, so um, let us copy. We don't need fetch here, right? We don't need any of that stuff. Um, oops, that, that, that is totally wrong place to insert it. There we go. Okay. So we start with a micro work, we connect to localhost and exchange data science, we subscribe to store uh, topic, right? So that's where the data gonna come in. Packages, uh, packages, uh, it's gonna be on logger, um, well require. Oh, that's logger, there we go. <clears throat> All right, um, yeah. So uh, getting no saving document data and this is basically where we're going to do our work right so um in this case we are okay there we go <clears throat> so now connected to the correct endpoint and it seems to be working properly macOS has this very annoying feature of lagging out from time to time i guess i have to reopen the chat here there we go Okay, hopefully that interruption wasn't too much. Uh, let me pop up the chat again. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have the chat. Come on, there we go. Okay, nice. 
Right, so we're working again. Uh, Yarnot Mongoose, let's do that. Perfect, okay, so now now we're talking. Uh, works perfectly fine. Okay, um, so why did Mongoose, uh, which means we need the DB thing, right? Um, oh man, I'm, I'm too lazy to lock up the dog, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open um, of my projects where I already use Mongoose, uh, might as well do the work one. And, uh, all I think it was in schema. That. So we can say native promises, uh, we create the connection, connected D, and then we just need, um, in this case, for now, I think we're going to go with article. I don't really need all that incredible schema here. Um, gonna all of that. I mean, may maybe I'll just leave <clears throat> some stuff. Uh, we don't need creation data, not a day. Nice to know. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at this. Um, and then we're going to say exports article uh, db article article schema right so we don't need those here so for now we're just gonna save articles right um config mongo in this case i think it was like a, you can use this thing so we just real quick copy that i mean in the end we're gonna have introduced config files as well but uh, for now we're just gonna be lazy and going to use written down um strings embedded strings essentially right okay and uh maybe we just do it this way so this uh, not like oh yeah right function we don't care about the function we can export them and uh yeah so it's gonna be our exports okay now let's talk about schema here right so in this case i mean we can obviously leave it empty for now which is you know one of the mongo bonuses i guess we can just say hey just save everything but um that might not be as nice as you would expect so we're gonna open the fixtures and um that is super tiny let me go that uh format javascript there we go okay so um we have id which is i imagine uh i mean it's like it i imagine is a unique right type number and it's going to be unique true and it's going to be index um i think index true i always confuse with mongoose indexing ways so uh Oh yeah, okay. So it's a true hash 2D. We don't need spatial indexes. So it's just gonna be true, and uh, we don't need to hash it because the it's just a numerical value, which should be um, relatively straightforward. So what we are interested in, um, let us see. So we definitely need text, which should be uh, you know just to have some sort of a model here, which should be string. Um, other dates is something that basically we will have here as well because why not and we'll say that this basically defaults to now uh, maybe text below um don't care about that bit we don't care about that bit so external url is something we also want so it's a type string it also should be unique right because we only want um more than one entry with the same url i mean urls are pretty they are unique identifiers, right? And if they have more than one uh, URL in the OpenCritic database, then something is definitely wrong there. Um, let me think. We don't really need anything else here, right? So other stuff is a like game ID outlet. I so boring. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks good. So I think that's enough for our schema. And we say that uh, basically it's not a strict schema, which basically means that we'll uh, allow to save all other fields. So, but this is what we are uh, considering important right now. Um, right, so we get that stuff. Now we need uh, an article. So we import that from DB, right? Um, we first wait for the connection. Uh, um, 
Here we can name that to connected to db. Let's call it this way. That makes sense. Um, there we go. D, right? Uh, we already need db here. Uh, maybe I can not even. Maybe I don't even need to export it, right? Okay. And here, so once we get the document, so create new doc. So article new article data. And then we just say await article save. And uh, that's basically it, right? So this is the simplest case of a storage service. And we don't actually need the by here. Um, article comes in. It throws it into the MongoDB and we're done. Uh, so in this case, we actually want a few scripts here. Um, let me just uh, copy them from here as well. Uh, so we want Mongo, go Mongo, Mongo, start and stop. Um, I don't think we need volume in this case, at least, I know maybe it's a good idea to have it anyway. Let me just rename the, this one, so it's gonna be DS Mongo, right? We forward the port to 7017, which is the Mongo default port to the local host. And uh, otherwise we're just gonna use the do uh, local uh, DB folder as a volume and do the same. We have a Mongo clean uh, script, which will do this for us. So let's do this yarn Mongo start. Yeah. Broken. Cool. Um, now here's the question, did I already Okay, I already have some old stuff running. Um, let me just kill all. Uh, I think they are, they should be. Yeah, they all all writes should be done. So killing them shouldn't be a major problem. You know what? Maybe let me do stop all. On the safe side. <clears throat> okay while yeah the stream seems to be uh please do let me know if there are any issues with the stream because you know I've restarted it and i don't really want to have a broken stream after that so it will be fortunate okay come on what's taking you so long first stop or brew mongo there we go come on this database is like um 50 million entries or something. So it, it, yeah, it takes a lot of RAM and it takes a lot of time to start and stop it properly. Come on, I should have done that before I stream actually, but I've completely forgot that I had it running in my. <clears throat> okay. Stop. Um, yeah, 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 there goes my memory and everything starts lagging a bit. Okay, I know that's not what I wanted, yes. This way, come on. There we go. My computer is trying to lift off right now. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Ah, there you go, finally. Okay, it took way longer than, <laughs> than I would want it to. Um, I don't really have any, it's not exited, right? It's my e docker. There we go. Okay. Uh, at stop destroying stuff. Okay. Um, that which you doing? Sorry, just a second. Let me get the chat back on screen because the browser decided that I pressed the back button when I didn't. Uh, that's not something I want to do. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. Better. Right. Um, Okay, so we got the Mongo now, and uh, if we do, so we can add a start script and say node in yes, right? And start, uh, so we can start it, uh, what? Uh, error config. oh yeah, right. Mongo start, so we start the MongoDB. Start start. Uh, we need a rabbit as well, that's true. That is something I completely forgot, uh, so we Rabbit start, rabbit clean. Um, we're gonna do that. Uh, CR and rabbit start. There we go. And uh, MP start or yarn yeah, start, whatever. Let me open the second shell. 
bigger um that is it's so make it smaller thank you very much that looks better okay um okay cool it's needed so it's listening for the store thing and now basically if we go to our input service and uh, our index right so this is our service and then uh bigger need another one so i think tgs still sends the tests very right uh okay it marks the store thing so we don't really want that so what we want is to just send the request right so this is all i want cool um node tgs so theoretically we should see yeah it should save now a bunch of stuff into the store. Kill that, I guess. And now we can use something like RoboMongo, which is a MongoDB UI. Uh, what the hell happened to it? Fortunately, there's no zoom here, so you'll have to bear with the tiny things. But we can actually see that, you know, it saved the data and we have our articles with all the fields, all the extracted stuff. Uh, text is here, HTML is here. Actually, uh, view document and see, you know, the full text, full HTML. Works, works fine, right? So this is our save data. Now, um, when we save it, we actually want to send it to processors, right? So uh, we don't really interested in just saving it, but actually, um, so save to processors. Uh, so that, that's what we want to do, right? And to do that, we are going to need to have a list of processors means that we have to subscribe so uh, listen for um process ah like right there's another thing right uh what i forgot is we need uh configs for rabbitmq because if we just do it like this it is not going to be persistent right we need to specify that we are indeed persistent we want a persistent queue, uh, send messages, send message config is not important here. So, and then the next thing is gonna be runner uh, subscribe. So let me open, uh, we can kill that. Open processing service. It is a processing service, good. Um, what we can do is we can have a look at, um, actually we wanna look at micro core, right? Just go here, uh, micro core. And status plugin, right? So because they will send the status to microcore.service. And uh, it's going to be data. So we don't care about replying to it. Uh, this, uh, this, I don't think there's any special queue config required in this case. Because it's like all of those messages are non-exclusive essentially. But just to be sure you know what i'm gonna say uh, storage i think i used the same trick here in this one so process item get processors uh, so i use this uh, service thing here and in this case uh yeah so there's no special queue config and then you get the service thing and then basically i guess we're gonna do the same right so you get the service uh conf service info let's go this way uh and uh basically we need a list of uh processors right? for this case those are the list processors okay and in this case we're just going to say processors uh push service info right so that, that's that's it basically as easy as that save new ah right but not not quite as easy but um processors uh, find p so that p id equals service so basically first of all we look it up and if it's already in there we just return uh, so check if processor all saved right and then save new processor Okay, uh, and then we just say logger debug save new processor service info, right? So now if we do yarn start and if
if we do no uh, yarn start here as well. So that's an input service. I'm doing the wrong thing. Um, let me think. Processing service, right? Start. So it sent the document, and now we should see here exactly say the new processor. So we have a Cornell P processor here, right? So here's the deal. Uh, once the article comes, uh, what we do is we just say processors map processor. Uh, I mean, I guess we can just say ID, right? So we map them to IDs because this is what they use to listen to things. And then we just say that uh, we actually uh, we actually do need to send here to send uh, and uh, I forgot how it works. Let me just have a look at micro work uh, docs for now. So reply um, blah, blah, blah. that by response topic and then the message. Right. Response topic is going to be ID and the message is going to be our article. I guess we can just say two objects so that it's actually a proper object because Mongo sometimes tends to send things that are not quite what you would expect. Uh, maybe that's another mapping is irrelevant here actually, so we can uh, simplify that too. The hell not. There you go. And I guess map doesn't really matter here, so we can just do for each and uh, log as well. Sending article to just log it basically, right? Okay, so in theory, if we run that now and then trigger the input service, which and again, no, no, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, right, so we got that. This is the input. This is what's going to trigger the input. This is the processing. So yarn start. This is our initial service, right? The storage service. So here we go. We subscribe to both. So we start the processing service now. You can see here it's connected now. We have the processing service in our storage service. So we start the input service now. All of them are now started and waiting for job to do. So we trigger the work. Let's send the article. Article should be, and we have a, oh yeah, right. So it's gonna fail if it's gonna try to save the same thing, right? So um, what we wanna do here in this case is just say, Mongo, no. I think it was, it was, and then your Mongo start. So we just restart the database from the scratch, which actually will be good to handle um, the same, and same doc exception. I'm gonna write a to do here. I'm gonna do it slightly later. And um, yarn start. Start this. Uh, this is still started. We're good. Okay, we got the service here. We trigger this. Send the document. This send the document. Now we should have it here. This is actually gonna fail. Uh, yeah, because connection is refused because I forgot to start kernel P. Okay, let's do yarn mongo in. So restart MongoDB, yarn start. It, what? Not like this. I just restarted it. What the hell? Okay. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, what? Start. Yes, poker PS. Hey, did I not start it first time? Okay. Start. So there we go. There's our storage service. Um, and start this thing. Um, uh, yeah, start. So we can start our processing service. Now working. So we trigger the thing. Sends out the first article. First article comes here. Now it comes. No, it doesn't. Why it doesn't? Uh, that is a lot of, uh, yeah, maybe logging the whole thing is not, not a good idea. Um, data, let's, let's do this. Of that. Promise rejection, invalid JSON response body at reason unexpected C token at what? 
Okay. Well, we started trying the, no, but we tested the stuff with, um, wait a sec, what did you docker logs minus F coronal P? Uh, adding sentiment and timeout exception. Okay, uh, I believe, wait a second, coronal P timeout. There was a way to set a timeout. So basically, obviously, since we're running it local locally on a local host, uh, there might be uh to, yeah there you go timeout uh so i guess it's in the milliseconds yep um we're gonna tweak our processing service just a bit let me explain that um so much stuff nope what i want oh, come on. okay um so we're gonna say pro I, it is in the properties right yeah it is we're gonna say uh whoops Out and there we go. Okay, so we're gonna add a timeout here, which is gonna be five, uh, so fifty. I guess that's that's it, like three seconds, which is one minute, right? That should be enough for most of stuff. But let's see if that actually works. So yarn mongo clean, yarn mongo start. Uh, yarn start this one. Yarn start input. Yarn starts processor. Processor is registered. Now we start the TGS. Kill that. Okay, kill that. We'll send the first one. Uh, it's still, I log that from. Okay, uh, saving document, duplicate key. Why, what? Okay, yeah. Oh, right. Okay, now I get it. So this processed it, but it sends it to store as well. So obviously there's gonna be a duplicate key. No, kill that. Uh, which means we have to tweak our kernel P processor to send it to, um, so it's gonna be underscore ID, right? So this is because we're using MongoDB now. And it's gonna be underscore ID. And uh, yeah, so in the config, we need to say that we wanna send it to update. So we're gonna have a separate, key for updating document, right? Which means that um, uh, listen for save requests. And then we're gonna have another one which will listen for update requests, right? So this is gonna be update. And in this case, this is gonna be ID and uh, the Updating document. Go. And in this case, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say article find by ID and update, and it's gonna be uh, for data underscore ID, and right. Then um, update. I believe. Wait a second. Mongoose uh, find. Uh, da -da -da. I think it was like dollar set or something. Gonna find out in a second. We have example here, I think, right? Uh, name dollar set. Yeah. So it's okay. You don't need to send anything, so it's gonna do it on on its own. So data and await that, and uh, then we just log that, right? updated article um, data underscore ID. there you go and uh, we don't really need send no we don't need send here but not yet so basically send for enrichment right so this is what we need to do later on once we get to the enrichment service but for now we're not going to do that so we did change that to update we did change that to send we do have to try and catch uh, stuff on save. Um, I mean, we can catch it here and say, just, you know, ignore that. By that would mean we can't really handle uh, on save. So what we can do is we can do this saved article Edge error, and we're just gonna return undefined. 
No, we, we can't do that because we need to catch the specific error, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess we have to wrap it in try catch. Um, try this. Command base error. Um, you know what? I'm going to be lazy once again because I already handled that. Or the problem here is this uh, save. Oh yeah, there you go. How you do it? So error code eleven thousand. Gonna do it. So if it's eleven thousand, then we're gonna just say uh, no. Logger info article already exists. Now it's gonna be um ignoring so basically we just ignore it right because we don't really care about it if it already exists then we're good and otherwise we'll just say our saving article error log it i mean we can we can i guess we can send it to no it's fine for now that's fine um yeah i think so yeah, right. We first of all, let us do this thing. I'm a bit annoyed by it. So we copy the slinder C. Say since we're using MongoDB, no, um, no underscore dangle off, right? Because MongoDB uses underscore for IDs. Don't really send for now here. And I think we're actually basically done here. So let's let's just try that. Um, Mongo clean start 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 so we start the storage service we start the input service start the processing service get it registered and now we just yes triggers the input service Oh, let, let's just wait for it to finish, right? So that theoretically we should see, um, what was it, 10, 15 articles coming through. There's a, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So there's gonna scrape all of those articles. We're gonna see them coming to the storage and we're gonna see um, sentiment service doing its work. It's actually really noisy. I probably should um, disable the logging in a micro work because the micro work by default logs in debug mode at least whatever comes through it in the background but i believe i provided a way of of fixing that yeah you have this logging transport so maybe we should do that to lessen the effect of uh fetch request to sell sign search okay so there are some fetch requests failing in our input service so we found a bug i guess uh, we can fix that why not let's do that right away which means that um fetch we fetch fetch request url so which means that get game so this theoretically shouldn't fail right so if that fails then we're screwed us in that fails uh so we run this in a review yes uh scrape reviews and this is it's okay so we just say try catch e so we just basically catch it and and we're gonna say error scraping uh, reviews for uh but actually in this case we don't really want to catch the whole thing i mean okay let's no you know what they don't really want to catch the whole thing right so we want to catch the specific review so uh this will work and this will work 99% of the time unless open critic screws something up so this might not work right um which means we want to say try and uh that no what I think so um rich review so we use this in rich review with text and in this case we're just gonna say catch here right and just say um logger or error 
fetching review for review. No, wait, this is gonna review external URL error. Okay, it's gonna say that and then return undefined. Now we're just gonna check here for result, right? So basically, if it doesn't return any result, it should work as well. And we are gonna do the same. So we are gonna say uh, add a knock thing here. So test review two, destiny two, reply um, 500, I guess, or something. We don't need a body here. Save that and uh, Okay, we're gonna say ten then uh shoot process so should not fail on broken external URL. It's to you and uh that won't wait a second, so uh yeah, okay, right, I should uh I, yeah, that basically means we need a second test data here, right? Because we will mock all thing again. Destiny two search response two is gonna be yes game. No, I guess in this case we only care about game in for response two, and it's gonna be this, right? So in this case. There was a way to say that knock should respond differently second time. Was it um, first, second, or error reply? Uh, price times four reply. Uh, I guess we can tear it down and just. Um, I mean, okay, maybe just having a different game is fine. Why, why the hell not? Game request to game dest call it destiny is gonna be like different. This right. Two. There we go. And this. There, so there was the reply with error. Or okay, and then you just give reply with error. Boom. Good. And then in this case, uh, game rec two, right? So we send the broken thing, and theoretically, it actually shouldn't. That's that's all we need to. This input service, yes. Uh, meanwhile, that stuff should have finished by now. Yeah, there you go. So there's our updates. Uh, doesn't work. In tech. Did I forget to start something? Oh, there is a bit, yes. Nothing is. Come on. Okay, so like, well, let's just verify that our storage service works as expected. And uh, it's just that. So we should have articles with sentiments now. There you go. And we should have uh, total sentiment and negative sentiment. Perfect. So that actually works exactly like we want it to work, right? We've updated the first bunch of articles, I guess. Some of them already have sentiments for some reason. I'm not sure why, so I guess maybe there are some bugs here. Uh is there a timeout as well? Handle delete body adjacent and expected C and yeah, I guess it's just timed out, right? So we might want to increase the timeout to 120 seconds or maybe even more than that. Okay, um let's see. So is the test not okay, kill that, kill that stalker. We don't really care about all the service, we can just kill them. Docker remove exited. 
for yarn uh rabbit start test come on ah right one respond with anything because I did not set up mocks for those things, right? Search respond to response. There we go. This, this, right? Okay, now it should work. I think. So what's previous part type? Previous, yes. Or so what the? It did work last time, right? So I'm not forgetting things. Okay, browsing reviews one. Uh, Enrich review. So what the hell? Review. Yes. Fine, but never use. That. Oh right, because I am an idiot and I did it in in a completely wrong way. Added to the wrong bit, right? So we actually don't need to change that. Just do. Then we need to. ML. Turn. Uh, So we just need to return, I guess, to read out anything, right? Because we failed essentially. Turn self. Now that should work. Not get game on four four ASD. No, okay, that's correct. Okay. Got that. Uh big the tests a bit, so it's it's Destiny 2 right? And I uh, cannot get game info for. Not break. That is not what I want. Two. Maybe we should end it before other stuff to actually allow it to work. And it does ah okay okay right because we're not failing we can actually properly now okay I'm I I think I'm a bit too tired today but uh, okay we can we can do that we can do that it's fine um right and we also need that right I think. How it worked, if I remember correctly, right? Yes, a paid runner subscribe. Um, that was the docs. Six. Yeah, tag. Oh, okay, how it works. Tag here, and then we subscribe for tag. Okay, now it should work. And then this just ah end it too quickly. This wait. Destiny, I am then text should be not okay. And we say no text, right? Uh, right, ID is completely broken because the angle is one. Now if we run it and it passes. 
Cool. And we see our error over here. Cool. Uh, so let's do this. Let's uh, add package JSON source and test. Commit a uh, right. That, that, that is not what I want. It is indeed not what I want. Whoops. And um, let's see the div. Okay. Git commit correctly handle a broken review full text URLs. Right. And this is one. Um, and we go to coronal P. I already had code open with it, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I had. Okay, so we leave this as this. We updated the config, but we also need to update the timeout. Let's try 120, why not? Uh, and config course. So, update to work with MongoDB data and add 120 seconds timeout to for NLP requests, right? Now when we have our storage service, which is basically working, but we do need to add unit tests. So let us write some tests and then we just wrap it up. Um, that's it. it. Copy the boilerplate from here. And do we need knock? I don't even need knock here. I mean, we just need micro work and, and MongoDB to test everything. Yep. Uh, so, yarn odds desktop. Yes. Yes. The data here. So, what we need is main. Ads. Now we need clean up on ads. There you go. Okay. Um, storage service. It should start service. Start service. Yes, local hold the designs. Okay, cool. Should save simple article. Um, subscribe to store. No, we don't need to subscribe to store, right? So we want what we need to do here is we need to send to store, and we need to send our uh, mock data. So first, I'm gonna open the core NLP processing service and copy the mocking thing from here. So we need the FS. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, close this. There you go, this is our test data, right? We already have one, which is for us. Um, we need path as well. Fire path. And uh, yeah, looks fine. So we send the input data. It's gonna save it. Then um, I'm gonna write a small sleep function. Gonna take time, return new promise. Gonna set timeouts for time, and that's it. We're gonna await sleep for 500 milliseconds, that should be enough. And then we actually need to require, uh, require all the stuff from here. Uh, and then do this uh, source D. D and then article. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna first of all actually. Uh, no, it doesn't really matter. We don't really care about connected, right? Because the service will only start once it's connected, so that doesn't matter. In the case. Then we're just gonna say um, articles. Say article find, which is gonna get all articles. And then we're going to say t equal articles length one. So there should be 
F1 article. An article from zero um, data. We have a net input data, I already forgot. Figures, yes, nine. Format, so uh, let's just test like ID and title. We don't really need to test the whole thing. Title. Title, there we go. Okay, so and then we say, and so Robert BS minus A, um, yarn Mongo start. So we start the Mongo. It has to be fresh Mongo every time, otherwise the test will fail. Uh, okay, we don't have test specified, which is not what we want. Uh, test. Copy paste that from here. There we go. Um, I guess I don't really need that anymore. And test. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it's working. Um, why it might not be working? Let me think about it. Might be because of the way. Oh yeah, right. Cleanup is not quite working as well because we have the database connect. So we have to do runner stop and we have to do uh so we have to first of all export the db here Imports. the import db here uh no, no here over yeah we um db and then we have to say db close right so this should stop it completely okay and uh, yes, to compare it properly, article, <clears throat> I'm gonna say articles, here are two object, right? That's probably why it's, because it tries to compare it with uh, MongoDB. Mongoose actually thinks, there you go. Okay, uh, that works. So this is test number one. And what else do we have? We have the update thing as well, right? So good. Um, should save same article. Essentially exactly the same test. So we should make sure that it only saves once. And then should um, update simple. Right, so we send it to update and we send, um, we actually need some sort of let's article this. In this case, when we read it, we're gonna say articles from zero or ID. I mean, I guess we can just article underscore ID or have it. And here we're gonna say um, our score ID is gonna be saved article. I'm gonna update it through, right? Article fine, should have one article, and ID should be fine, and then updated should be updated. Be okay, right? Find that now. Ta da, works. Perfect. So uh, yeah, I think, so we tested this, we tested this. Oh yeah, we need to test that it actually sends it to processors as well. Uh, this is another bit. So yeah, okay. Uh, before that, that means that it has, uh, should save processor, right? And Copy that bit. The thing here is that we can only send and, and basically then check that it dispatches it to the processor, right? So uh, we need to say ID test, pro um, I guess let's just create a separate test data. Okay, whoops. Processor, processor and uh, we don't really need anything else here. It's just using ID. Okay. Um, processor. So then we sleep and let it digest. And, and 
that's it and that means that here um, we need to subscribe so we first subscribe to e yeah right actually we don't even need this sleep here anymore because we're gonna it's it's gonna send it to processor anyway right sync uh data we also need to compare data means that that and say e title should be the same and then npm test and if that works no it, oh right because i have to wipe mongo in this case uh because it doesn't save it second time so we do that a yarn test hey cool so basically our storage service works it add this folder and um yeah that looks fine minus m implement basic storage service so we are basically done um we can close this close this we don't need it uh we can go here and edit our services md thing say um have a storage service and this is gonna be storage and processing slash and which or i guess for now it's just processing management microservice so what's left is a bunch of processing um, microservices enrichment and then we can start doing the visualization of all of that stuff yeah okay update uh, services description and we're basically done here so uh, if you have any questions feel free to send them to the chat now i'm gonna have a look and answer them um if not you know if you're watching this on youtube obviously do ask there I'll be happy to answer and as usual you know in the slack or whatever uh, not slack sorry discord uh, whatever questions you might have just ask them and i will answer them um you know as much as i can okay cool so we are we're getting there we're getting there there's just a few more services to write and uh, a few more things to tweak yeah right looks like there are not no questions actually so i guess we're gonna wrap this up here for today um thank you for watching and as usual i see you about i don't know i think i'm gonna record a video early next week and then we're gonna have live stream sometime next week as well we're gonna see how that goes maybe in two weeks or something but you know uh, this course is moving on a much faster pace and i do like that more let's see how that goes all right, guys, have a nice weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.